Thursday of the fifth week of Lent. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. And to Abram, I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. And we are the ones who partake of the fulfillment of this covenant, the new and eternal covenant in the blood of Christ as we enter into the sacred paschal mysteries the new and eternal covenant we share in the divine life of Christ we receive the glorified body of Christ in holy communion after having offered ourselves through him, with him, and in him, dying as sacrificial victims with Christ, the victim who becomes the victor, we are raised up in glory. Lent is a time for deepening our faith, our intimacy with Christ, especially uh, through the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the sacred mysteries, and by receiving holy communion reverently. We hear, I am. Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. And we have all of these various I am statements in the Gospel of John. I am the bread of life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. This I am, the very words spoken to Moses at the burning bush, first person singular, present tense of the verb to be, the eternal now, the eternal I am, the supreme being. And so the Lord Jesus is identifying himself uh, with uh, Almighty God and indeed uh, is with us uh, forever, here and now. I am with you always, hidden in the Blessed Sacrament, through the sacred paschal mysteries, uh, fulfilling the new, the ever new and eternal covenant. So let us uh, stop, be still, and be ever more deeply aware of the sacrament of the present moment of God's holy presence uh, within us and among us. Let us pray. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 